Welcome back everyone to Desktop Inventions where I break down the hottest and latest in 3D printing each week so you can keep up with all the exciting developments in 3D printing. This week we've got some exciting consumer products from Bamboo Labs new leaks to Kickstarter printers that you can order right now. And I'll cover possibly the fastest multicolor 3D printer in the galaxy coming to a planet near you. I know your time is valuable so let's dive right in. So before we dive right in, I just wanted to say keep an eye out. This week I'm going to drop the latest and probably final video in the Levitating Spiritual Stones project and I'll be posting the files on my Patreon so you can make this project yourself. So keep an eye out for that video on YouTube because that project turned out to be awesome. And if you want more exclusive content, head over and check me out on Patreon. Okay, so let's get on with the Juicy Bamboo Labs leaks. So a couple photos have just been leaked now from the Bamboo Labs new printer. First, there was this leaked image back in June of the printing head and the build platform of a new printer from Bamboo Labs. In this photo, we can see just a single printing nozzle, unlike the H2D with the dual printing nozzles. We can see there's a rotating extruder wheel like the A1 tool head. We can also see the last number in the build platform, which is generally the Z axis height, showing 340 millimeters, which would be the tallest build platform from any printer from Bamboo Labs. Now, just this month in July, we saw a leaked image from the H2D cutting module quick start guide. This quick guide accidentally included an image that was labeled the H2S, showing a graphic of the printhead with the same rotating extruder wheel, basically confirming the previous leaked image to be accurate and confirming that this will be the new 3D printer model from Bamboo Labs. Just a matter of when and what are the final features and specs but we do have a few clues. Let's take the H2D name for example. The H means hybrid due to its printing, laser, and cutting abilities. The 2 refers to it being the second generation printer, and the D refers to the dual nozzle print head. So if we know that the new printer is an H2S, we can guess it's also a hybrid system of some sort. It's also going to be the second generation printer, and it will be a single nozzle instead of a dual nozzle. The final clue that we have is the print bed size which appears to be significantly larger than the X1 Carbon and the P1P. So my theory is that this printer will be a stripped down version of the H2D. That would give it an advantage of being larger than the X1C and the P1P printers, and also a lower cost point than the H2D printers, putting it right in the middle of those two series. So is it too soon for a new printer from Bamboo Labs? Well, yes and no. We just had the H2D release at the end of March, but the price point was too high for most printing enthusiasts, so we felt a little left out of the hype. So with a new H2S printer at a lower price point could be just what many Bamboo Labs fans are waiting for to splurge on a new 3D printer. So what do you think? What would this new H2S printer need in terms of features or price tag to get you to part with your money for this new printer? Okay, next up, Yumi just launched a new 3D printer on Kickstarter and it's claimed to be the fastest multicolor 3D printer in the galaxy. So they've already met their targets of raising just $1,272 on Kickstarter in just the three days since they've launched. They've already funded $120,000 of their goal, so this thing is going to get delivered. So how exactly are they claiming this to be the fastest multicolor 3D printer in the galaxy? Well, I think it comes from a couple innovations. Number one is they're claiming up to 700 millimeters per second print speed. I think that's the first time I recall seeing print specs that are this fast. Is this going to be the new standard of printing speed? They've got 20,000 millimeters per second acceleration too, which is also a top end spec. Another thing that allows them to be faster than others in multicolor printing too, is they only have a hundred millimeters or about four inches of retraction that's needed. So when you're switching from one color to the next, it only has to pull the filament back about four inches or hundred millimeters before it puts in the new printing color. They can do this because the filament is cut close to the nozzle and they have individual PTFE tubes up for each color filament to the printing head. And then the third thing they're doing to get faster multicolor printing speed is no purge tower. So it sounds like there's two reasons for the no purge tower. So number one, they claim just purging out the back of the printer is faster than stopping to print a purge tower. And number two, with purge towers, it sounds like Stratasys actually has a patent on that which makes it difficult to have purge towers going into the US market, so they've chosen to forego that path. In general, they have three printer platforms. They have the C235, C335, and C435, which all refer to the size of the build platform. Each of these models can support up to five, seven, or 12 color printing thanks to their modular YMS, Yumi multi-material system. 
This YMS consists of modular spool holders for the multicolor printing. So each spool will go into its own compartment or container that can stack onto each other in a modular fashion. The largest YMS with 12 spool holders on the smallest build platform with just 235 millimeter printer looks pretty comical. Not only do they have the YMS, but they have the YMS Pro, which is also a spool holder with an integrated chamber heater that can heat the filament up to 85 degrees for humidity sensitive materials. It sounds like with the controller or the power source needed for this YMS Pro, that one is just limited to just three units per printer. But you can still do three YMS Pros plus nine YMSs for a total of 12 different printing colors. They also have two printer head options, a Chroma X12, which allows for the up to 12 different color changing filaments. Um, in that printing head, they have to have the different holes for the different PTFE tubes that come down to the printing head. So that's why the Chroma X12 is its own printing head. So the multicolor printing head can support up to 240 degrees Celsius. They also have the direct drive printing head, which can support up to a higher 310 degrees Celsius, has a higher flow end, and has a magnetic cover for better maintenance. But this one can only support single color printing. All of their printer models support clipper firmware with vibration compensation and flow control compensation. Yumi also has their own 3D printing filaments. They have over 140 different colors, including PLA, PETG, TPU, and more. So where did this Yumi company come from? Well, Yumi was founded by Nicolas Mouchat, a French engineer who was one of the founders of the Lychee Slicer, one of the top slicers for resin printing. Yumi started around 2022 with making 3D printing filaments, then they moved into a laser cutting product, and now they're launching their first major 3D printing product. The printers are estimated to start delivering in December 2025, and there are 94 out of 100 units left. So get in there and reserve yourself one before the limited quantity runs out. Okay, and finally, we've got details of the new 3D printer coming from Snapmaker. This one I'm excited for, and I think it's one of the first printers in the next generation of multicolor printing. Rumors about this printer started back in March 2025, but now Ultimaker has officially confirmed this model on their website, which I've linked down below. So the game changer here is the forehead tool changer, which changes not just the filament, but the whole nozzle, hot end, and everything. So you don't have to repurge the filament when you change the color. Essentially, you have four filament colors that are all loaded into four hot ends just sitting on the back of the printer ready to go. So when you want to change out a different color, you just go to the back of the printer and swap out the entire hot end, and the new color is already loaded, so you don't have to do any unnecessary pooping out of the back of the printer. It looks like there is still a small purge block though just to get the pressure settings corrected before printing on your main printing part. And from the videos they show, the hot end swaps on this printer are fast. Just about 5 seconds to swap a new hot end with no pooping required. Other printers can easily take up to 30 seconds or more, which eats up a lot of time, especially when you have to do it every layer or multiple times every layer. In general, it looks like this printer is boasting to save from 50 to 80% of material and print time compared to other multicolor printers with all of the extra purging and pooping. And this printer appears to have a pretty competitive build platform size with 270 by 270 millimeters and 270 millimeters in height, larger than a Bamboo Labs X1 Carbon. This printer is coming from Snapmaker, so it will be a premium printer model and it will also probably boast a premium price tag. This printer has not launched yet, but they said they will be launching on Kickstarter, so if you keep an eye out for it, you'll likely be able to get an early bird special with a nice discount. So keep an eye out for this printer coming to Kickstarter in the near future. Okay, that's it for 3D printing news this week. No printables or Thingiverse prints of the week this week. I was busy on a business trip and I didn't have a chance to find good enough models to bring to you. Next week, they will be back. So as always, let me know if there's any 3D printing topics you'd like me to cover. Have a good week, happy printing, and we'll see you next time at Desktop Inventions.